Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PPL. Uh, this is week 8. We are facing Slyro of the Petersburg Pyros and his team is very scary. He kind of brought pretty much what I was expecting except for the Hidman top. I was expecting one of his two dragons, but he didn't bring them. Um, so that's fair. Um, that is always scary though once they bring the things you expect because they are the things you expect they will hurt you more and they did bring them uh, so yeah RK9 Lantern and Bronzong uh, definitely expecting those um, whew, what a hard battle we do have today uh, it is right though we do have the team to do it but it is important that as I said in the um, on the battle thing it's uh, the team preview that you can check out on the link description um, it is very important that we do some slow damage to his team, and then Ente and Saulan do the do the the cleaning basically. It just hurt his team massively. Uh, so the, it should be it should be going well, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we have a tough time because before that we do need to break his team. And uh, we do need to do some procedural damage. Uh, I will explain quickly my team before uh, going to the battle. If you don't want, if you haven't seen the team analysis, I recommend you to do so. But in any case, we do have physical defensive, no attacks, uh, Rocky Helmet, Hippo, a Rindleberry offensive, uh, uh, Starry with skill swap, um, Sol Vescovalion, uh, special defensive gold bat. Uh, Sun Sweeper with Toxic Stoutland and Assault Vests Flame Charge uh, Arcanine. No, Ente. Arcanine is right there. The Battle of Dogs. We have the three dogs here ready to look at each other in the eyes and, and you know, to have a massive battle. Uh, <laughs> I, am, I am excited. I'm excited for this battle. Um, I was very excited for this battle though. Uh, but we'll see how it ends up. It is... it, it goes... it goes... Uh, it's... It will be interesting. There are some crucial moments in this battle. Uh, you will see them. He leads with this. He has no reason not to. He it's pretty much everything else. He's lead with Ente because he does well against his most of his team. And we can start doing damage. Uh, I just go for a Stone Edge first turn. Maybe he wanted to stay in or something. Uh, not expecting him to be a Solvice. And I... that damage... Uh, on the lantern switch indicates that it's a defensive lantern and as I said on the team analysis I don't have that many good switches to lantern so I have to hope he just goes for a vault switch um, he, ha he, he can definitely go for that uh, but he goes for the safe scald that does 50% to be <coughs> and what this allows me is actually to switch on to the superstar because I'm definitely thinking he's not going to go for the wall switch on the height uh, he powered on so that's nice um, here I am first going to go for the uh, skill swap um, I wanted to surprise him and uh, taking away his vault absorb apparently he was not vault absorb so <laughs> everything was for nothing but I, I was sure that he would be vault absorb because yeah I don't know uh, that would allow my Rotom to full switch around if I had brought that, but I haven't, so yeah. Uh, I get the Regenerator from this, so he will not be getting HP back, which doesn't fucking matter at this point, because he's a full HP anyways. Um, so yeah, I have to switch out. Um, I am going to go into this, take the knockoff, since he doesn't have High Dragon, the Assault is not that needed. So we can actually get some heavy damage on the switching, and he decides to bring Arcanine, and he's going to take the close combat decently well. Uh, after lefties, he can definitely take another one and just go for Will O' Wisp or some things like that. And he decides to pull a double switch to Bronzong, which is nice. Uh, expecting the Stone Edge, I do have it. Uh, maybe he was just scouting for it, which was so, some good plays from him. But now that he does have this in, I will take this opportunity to slack off, because I need this heap a good amount of HP. It's sort of like a decent switch into Lantern. <laughs> um, and he brings this, probably expecting I don't know, something. Uh, I'm not sure. He Maybe he can't really touch me. Um, 
or he was expecting rocks or anything else. Actually, stealth rocks look like like a lot of them. That's that's funny. <laughs> yeah, now this thing is in. Um, if he has grass nut, he will go for it right now, and and you know I'm going to I'm going to this, uh, and I'm taking the grass nut decently well. So that allows me to just go for. Uh, a close combat after he U-turns, revealing that he's not Specs or Scarf. Um, and we can get some nice damage with close combat, of course expecting him to do such thing as U-turn. Uh, doing some pretty decent damage to this Lantern, still not able to kill it with another one, so I'm going to switch into Hippo again. As he scalds again, I'm like, damn it! Uh, <laughs> Hippo, damn! <laughs> I need this Hippo though, I need to set up sound late game, so I'm switching out. Um, what I'm going to do <coughs> is switch into my Golbat. Golbat does decently well against this, but I'm going to scout off his moves um, to see what he's got for Golbat, if he's knockoff or any other move. And he apparently has Psychic, which will be able to do some good damage to Cobalion. I'm going to keep Cobalion as Death Father, because I'm thinking I can bring this and then just keep pulling double switches. Uh, to get Cobalion in again, so I can get at least one more hit off. I took some damage with my other mod, but I think this hit will be appreciated. Or, at this point, he did brought Scarf Rotary, as I was expecting. Uh, so at the end, I sack uh, Cobalion here, but it gave me some good information about his team. Uh, you know, I knew... Um, he, he's got Earthquake... Uh, he's me. God damn, what am I saying? He's got the Psychic on the uh, Tornadus and the Scarf Rosary to outspeed my God of War and my uh, Starmie. Which is, you know, some nice information. Now I know he's definitely Scarf. I'm gonna bring this now that he's locked into Extra Sensory. And what I'm going to do is just go for a Psy Shock to scout how much damage I can do to this. It should be a 2 hit KO if he's not. HP invested, but as you can see, he is. I'm expecting him to just U turn now, and he does, so I can get even more extra damage. N now, when he gets regenerated, he will. He's starting to be slower, uh, lower and lower. And this time, as he has this in, I'm just going to bring Starmie. He's definitely going for uh, Skull right here. And he does not get Skull Burns, let's say that. That was actually lucky for me. Um, and here. He decides to go into Torrent, uh, and my plan is starting to get into motion. Because Rotom has very low amount of HP, this is a 50%, and I just took down Regenerator from this. So if I can get Rocks, this will not have the Regenerator. And after Rocks, Arcanine cannot switch into Sacred Fire plus Stone Edge, um, and Lantern can't either. Uh, maybe Lantern can, but there's a lot of chances that I can get the burn with uh, Sacred Fire, you know, with Sacred Fire 50%. That's, that's that's why we run it, and the power is insane. So yeah, uh, I'm getting rid of these things, uh, <laughs> Regenerator, and I'm going to take up uh, the, this opportunity to get my Regenerator back. Going to Golbat, uh, he U-turns. Uh, so he is at 65%, no regenerator, as he brings this. Now I am packing some speed investment just in case they try to speed creep this Golbat, and that's what happens here. He apparently uh, went for that, and this Stone Edge does a shit ton of damage with the crit. And I'm like, damn, that has to be... That has to be like Bandit or like super offensive? I don't know. Uh, I can get my roosts off though. Uh, and get the defog of my dreams, and he does reveal the Zen headbutt on this, which is kind of annoying, but I can roost on this uh, pretty much all day. He predicts <laughs> me to roost and go for Earthquake, showing that he's a good player, but it actually works better for me that he did that, because it does less damage than Zen headbutt, and I can't recover more HP, so I can just use him now, get some momentum, Hippo will be taking the Zen headbutt pretty well, and I can get some extra procedural damage, so now he's definitely in range of uh, Sacred Fire and two crunches. So that's fantastic. Plus, I can get my Stealth Rock off, and I'm like, oh shit, this thing is going to have uh, Rapid Spin. Uh, that's a little bit scary, but if he does not have Rapid Spin, if he's a Bandit Saddle or like a offensive set without it, um, that'd, be, that'd be fantastic. Honestly. Uh, so I'm going to do is actually going to go into Golbat, um, 
expecting the rapid speed of the close combat, and he does go for the close combat. I eat that up, and I can get off a roost for me. And now Rugs will do damage. Uh, since he saw that coming, he's going to decide to get up his rocks on his own. But I'd rather have mine up than worrying about him having his. So this is a nice opportunity to go into uh, Entei and start doing some damage to his team. Um, the battle is going definitely in my favor now. I can just go for a Sacred Fire on his Lantern, plus rocks and the potential burn. This Lantern is gone and I do get the burn with Sacred Fire right here. Um, it's definitely very helpful. I can just revenge kill it with another sa Sacred Fire. I get rid of the Lantern. Now this is looking fantastic. Lantern is gone. This will not get the regenerator, so it's like 60 something percent. Um, this is 50%, so after Rugs, he can't take a, a Stone Edge. And if his offensive Mag Punch can't kill Ante, so he will die. And I'm a Solves, so <laughs> the Scarf Rose Raid will not kill Ante either, so I'm looking very comfortable. He decides to bring this. Um, I can just go for a Stone Edge. And I miss. Oh, when this happened, my heart broke completely. And I'm like, that miss is game. Because now, on this miss, he's going to Morning Sun, get a good amount of HP, and he has Intimidate, which now, that allows him to stop both of my dogs. Now Stone Edge, I should have run H, but that, you know, that's fucking guy problem. For running Stone Edge, I should have brought fucking HP Rock or something. <laughs> and he would have killed at that point. But I missed that Stone Edge, which was so crucial. And I'm like, God, no! Now he has Will-O-Wisp and Intimidate. Now my two dogs are, has, have no strength. That they can't do anything now. <sighs> and I'm just going to try to go into Colbat, uh, you know, expecting a close combat if he has it, but he goes for a Flare Bridge, and, you know, he's just going to kill the Colbat, so I can't defog. I don't really want to defog anyways, but I tried to boost. Uh. Now I have to go to Starmie, and start making some plays. <laughs> uh, I was expecting the the tornadoes because he actually kills because he doesn't have regenerator so maybe he would he wanted to bring that in get rocks and then get killed by Psyshock he doesn't go for it nothing really matters because now I can't I can't really beat him uh, <clears throat> and I just tried to get the burns on this uh, on this uh, he shows earthquake at this point I was eh, I will show him that I have the levitate <laughs> Uh, the skill shop, so I can get that. I can get some style points going on here. And expecting Rose Raid now, I go for the side shock, but he stays in again. He honestly has no reason to switch, but just in case, I tried to see. I I, I had to try to look uh, for the choke, basically. Like I tried to. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to keep this for my my Stoutland. Uh, and he went to Rosarid, but he didn't. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I can bring Ante right now. And here I overpredict again. Like, I was so sure he needed this for Dog. But he doesn't switch. He just keeps staying in. And he now crits me with Earthquake and kills me. I do have some HP investment to take hits from that. So now I'm definitely gone. Now now it now it's over. I'm gonna try to bring this sand and try to try to die basically. And <laughs> God damn it! This battle, this battle ended up this this couple of turns, especially the stone edge was 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 horrible. Uh, it would have been so much closer, but. You know, I can bring this, try to kill as much thing as I can, go for the return, kill at least this Scarf Rosary, which is nice. And uh, he's going to bring Arcanan, which isn't supposed to be here. <laughs> Arcanan is not supposed to be here. And uh, he's going to get the Intimidate off. Uh, take this, pff, not too well. And just burn me with uh, Will-O-Wisp. And... 
he just he just can keep it for differential and he's going to bring this and return is not going to do that much ah it is it is very sad how it went four row lost four row it's sad um it could have been way much closer at least um way more closer than it than a full row, I'd say. Not taking credit away from Slyro though, he has an awesome team, like as I said several times already. But come on man, just playing that game was so frustrated and started playing a little bit worse after the miss. And then once Entei was down, I was like, well, <laughs> let's see if Doc can clutch it up a little bit. But ha him having Arcane and around is, is the stop for for my, my Stoutland, because Entei also has died. Uh, before, so yeah, sadness, um, sadness all around. This was a sad wig. Uh, GG, uh, Slyro. Um, you know, Pokemon is like that. Uh, he does have a very nice team, so he's doing decently well on the on the championship. So let's see if he can get he can get some nice wig wins less next weeks, and you know. I uh, I am just uh, a little bit sad after this battle. It was a sad battle, but you know, that's what happens with Pokemon. Gotta accept it, we're gonna move up, we're gonna be manned, and next week we're facing one of the best team in the league for now, which is Sam, which he lost last battle. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, he lost last battle, so he comes, he comes, uh, and he's out for blood, so we may have a bad time. <laughs> Although I will, I will definitely try to beat my friend Sam, and <laughs> and yeah, that was the battle. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time on this channel. Bye bye.